to have you here. Welcome. If uh, you look on the back of your bulletin, there's a devotional from uh, Charles Stanley. And I'm not going to read that devotional, but I'm going to read uh, some of the verses that might apply to that. I was talking about uh, uh, <clears throat> going through Paul's uh, reflection on God delivering the Jews from Egypt and setting them up in the promised land and then uh, a system of judges to rule the country. And then they asked for a king, so he supplied Saul for 40 years. And then he removed Saul. Saul wasn't replaced, God removed him <clears throat> and replaced him with David. And he says at the end of that <clears throat> passage in Acts 13, after he had removed him, he raised up David to be their king, concerning whom he also testified and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my heart, who will do all my will. How many have not heard a man after my heart? It's one of the best uh, known phrases and statements in scripture. And here's a couple reasons why. <clears throat> As the deer pants for the water brooks, so my soul pants for you, O oh God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? My soul waits in silence for God only. From him is my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold. I shall not be greatly shaken. That denotes a, a very deep and very serious relationship that David had with God. That God appreciated and valued and complimented as a man after my He wants me. He wants to live for me and he wants to experience me. And that is the goal of our relationship with him, isn't it? To open up and to be free to experience him and to live in his glory and in his life. Let's pray. Our Father.